Okay, hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Victor, and I'm going to be your anchor for this training. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at uh, one of the Cisco Academy courses. It's called the uh, IoT, Internet of Things, Connecting Things. Uh, so if you go to the Cisco Academy platform, netacad.com, Cisco have quite a number of courses, and we want to start looking at the um, IoT tracks, right? Internet of Things tracks. So there are quite a number of courses you have on the Cisco Academy platform. If you're interested in taking any of these courses, just get in touch. Uh, uh, you could, like the uh, intro, it's uh, beginner friendly. So I'm going to be starting from connecting things, right? We'll go from connecting things to the big data analytics, then we'll go to the uh, Hackathon playbook. So I'm going to be starting from the connecting things, right? So what you have in Cisco Connecting Things, what's the goal of the IoT training? So you have hands-on activities that teaches you how to securely connect data and uh, connect that particular data to cloud services. Of course, tools, example of tools that we're going to be using are things like the Raspberry Pi or the uh, Arduino or any other tool that have sensors that you can use to collect data. The question even at, at the very beginning is what is the, what, what do you mean by IoT? In a layman example, when you say IoT, you're talking about internet of things. So you want to be able to control, you want to be able to use, you want to be able to uh, interconnect, you want to be able to collaborate with items, things. So those things can be, it can be, it can be, uh, it can be cars, it can be curtains, it can be AC, it can be doors, it can be, it can be typically any gadget, any device. You want to be able to, can be cameras, you want to be able to control those things over the internet. So that's why you call it the internet of things. So here we're trying to learn how do we pick up data, then of course put out in the cloud and of course do analytics or do get the data insight from it. So I'll do an introduction to the course, then we'll get to uh, the slides. Then after the slides, then we'll not do uh, the hands-on. Now, nearly every object cannot be connected to the internet. From washing machines, sophisticated uh, components of uh, airplane, jets, engine, even crops, you could have um, IoT devices that can pick, that can measure uh, temperature, that can measure, uh, what was it called, that can measure the, the uh, the humidity that can measure uh, the weather condition, that can measure atmospheric pressure, that can measure oxygen level, that can measure all of these things. Now, how do we connect these things and capture useful data and not be able to transform that into something meaningful? That's why you see one of the tracks is, um, one of the tracks for IoT is um, big data analytics. Because once you collect this data, the question is that what you what are you going to be doing with that data, right? If you collect the data, then what are you going to be doing with the data? So when we get to this section of the course, that's going to be on another playlist in the channel. You are going to be learning how do I put this data into CSV format on an Excel sheet or something, and how do I not use Python or use any programming language? But for the purpose of this course, we're going to be using Python. Uh, maybe in uh, using Anaconda. Anaconda, this is what Anaconda environment looks like. It's going to load up in a moment. Then how can I now start running some, what we call exploratory data analysis? How do I start doing some charts? How do I now start doing some machine learning? How do I make insights from the data I've collected? So, but the purpose of the Connecting Things curriculum and content is to teach you how to first, Learn about sensors, learn about uh, uh, basic IT items. Then how do I collect this data and keep it or store it in the cloud? Now you have, um, okay. So discover the basis of existing and emerging fields in end-to-end um, -end Internet of Things system. Basic programming, networking electronics knowledge is recommended. It's not compulsory, but it's recommended. Uh, on the channel, you have a playlist on uh, Python programming. Uh, I'm going to do more additional videos on the platform for basic Python programming, because you also need that for this data you have collected so that you can be able to do get insight from that data. 
And of course, some basic networking skills are also important. If you also check the channel, you'll see I did, uh, that's the URL. You can pause and grab that, visit the channel. So I did a comprehensive, uh, you have a comprehensive uh, playlist, get to the playlist on, you got a comprehensive playlist on um, networking. You also have something on cyber security. So that plays a great role in having your feet, keeping your feet wet. Okay, let me navigate to that. Um, of introduction to networking. So you have a playlist on um, all the things you need to know about um, networking that cannot give you a good head sub for this particular course. So you can get to that uh, playlist, tidy up that knowledge, then before you get to the Internet of Things. So you have introduction to networking, basic switch and end devices, uh, uh, OSI model, protocols and model, um, data link layer, internet layer, uh, quite a lot about networking. So that gives you fundamental knowledge on how to now proceed to do internet of things. And of course, maybe later on cloud computing. What are you going to learn in the course? You're going to learn how the current digital transformation is creating unprecedented economic opportunities, right? Understand how IoT is bridging the gap between operational an informational technology system. So instead of operations, uh, we we'll talk about CAPES and OPEX, capital expenditure, uh, operational expenditure. So instead of having operations where so you have people, imagine if you have a farm and in that farm, you will need guys to go and check temperature every morning, afternoon and night over a period of six months or one year so that you can know and do that for like 10 years or for five years so that you can be able to do some forecasting that forecast will be able to tell you what the needs are for that particular uh, farm. So instead of having those uh, guys, imagine the cost is going to, you're going to incur if you need to have two, three, four persons go measure temperature, uh, measure wind, uh, measure uh, humidity, measure oxygen level in the atmosphere, for your crops or for your farm or for your vegetation of every day or every other day over a period of five years. That's a lot of operational expense because that's human resource. You're going to pay them, you're going to train them. But if you deploy a simple sensor, let's say an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi, a simple sensor, that's going to help you solve that issue, just deploying that. And you can pick that data, connect it to the cloud and you are good to go. So of course, you want to see that gap, operational and information technology systems. They want to develop critical thinking and problem solving skills using real equipment and also packet tracer. So packet tracer is our like simulation uh, platform uh, that we can use to test most of these things. So there are quite a number of labs. I will talk about the labs later on on the course so that you can get to understand better. Then of course, soft skills, uh, such as teamwork, articulating problems and solutions in a business context. So that's just a heads up about the IoT fundamentals course connecting things. Uh, there are quite a lot to learn. You have about six modules. Uh, the very first one is uh, things and connections. Here, we're going to look at... Um, We're going to look at um, okay. Just a moment. We're going to look at um, we have some labs here. Where we're going to be learning how to analyze connecting things, how to analyze processes, how to understand the open loop system. We're going to learn all of that during the course. Diagram processes. How do you uh, connect devices to build IoT? Because if you have a camera, you have a door, you have a gate, you have a solar system. How do you create some kind of connections to be able to now monitor, get insight, sorry, get data, get insight, and not be able to make decisions? So these are the of things we're going to be looking at in the Internet of Things. So here we're going to learn what are things, then what are connections. That's what we're going to learn in module one. Then in module two, we're going to be learning... Um, 
or rather modu kind of model up. So in module two, we're going to learn about sensors, actuators, and microcontrollers. So because you cannot talk about IoT without looking at what makes up those devices that are going to be collecting the data. So here we're going to look at um, some labs. Some of the labs we're going to be looking at is at the world runs on circuits, uh, digital scope, then how to design a circuit from start to finish, how to identify components, how to simulate IoT devices. Then we're going to be looking at the Arduino, then the, or the red board option, the flex sensor and servo, relays sensor and uh, packet uh, microcontrollers. So uh, in the lab section, so what I'm going to do is that, first of all, I'm going to go through all of the training content. Then later on, we'll now do a playlist for the different labs, all of these labs. They're about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So you have typically about 30 something labs in the entire course. That's about average of 10 per chapter. Okay, mm -hmm. so you have um, in module three, you have software. So you cannot talk about internet of things without talking about software because it's software that's still going to drive whatever data you're going to collect. So here we're going to be looking some lab also, we're going to be learning some basic Linux commands, a Raspberry Pi. So there are two gadgets, there are two hardware. If you want to learn internet of things, there are two gadgets you need to have with you. You need to have Raspberry Pi, and of course with some uh, of the components, then you have Arduino. So let me show you what it looks like. Arduino, Duino versus Raspberry Pi. So they are just mini computers, right? Mini computers that can help you. Okay, just a moment. Mini computers that can help you mimic. Uh, okay, this image is not too large. Okay, I think this is fine. Okay. Okay, awesome. So this is an Arduino. Uh, I have this one. I have this one. This is a small computer. This is the power. You have the board. Uh, you have an Ethernet port. You have Ethernet port. You have USB. Some of them have HDMI. They mimic a simple computer. So with this computer, you can have additional add-ons to them to be able to collect data from your environment and, of course, send it to the cloud, connect it to the internet because uh, they also have internet capability. So these are two guys you need to buy. An average this costs uh, less than $50, about $100 or plus, or even less than, depending on the type, whether you're buying a Raspberry Pi 2 or 3 or 4. So they have different versions. We'll talk about these devices uh, later on. So I'm trying to do a heads up, uh, an introduction to what we're going to be looking at. So those are the two devices that you need if you need to complete the entire course. But even if you don't have those devices, you can mimic most of these things on the um, on the lab softwares and environment that I'm going to share with you in the course. Okay, that's for three. That's for module three. Then in module four, in module four, or rather, this is six. In module four, in module four, we're going to be looking at. Um, networking terms. Now, when you say Internet of Things, you are seeing items that are connected together and being controlled or managed or used or interfaced with over the internet. That's what you call Internet of Things. So if I have five cameras here and I have an Arduino board, I have my inverter system and I connect everything over the internet and I can watch it on my phone. Or for instance, you have a two-way camera installed in a farm at home, maybe with the kids or to check out the environment, uh, the office. That's Internet of Things. So these are simply interconnected things. And how do you connect these items without understanding some of the basics of networking? So network, what is a network? Two, three, or more than two items or gadgets or computer connected to share resources. That's what we call a network. So in chapter four, we're going to be looking at networking terms. 
we're going to be learning um, networks, fog, and cloud computing. Now, if you tend to do cloud computing on the long run, and you intend to adapt it to uh, Internet of Things, this course is also a very nice course for you to explore. So a small home, a small factory, securing cloud services in uh, IoT. So those are some of the things we're going to look at in this particular module. We're going to be exploring basics of networking and how it impacts and help us understand, use, and explore uh, Internet of Things. Then lastly, okay, before the last module, in module five, we're going to be looking at how do we apply IoT in business, right? So some of the examples we'll be looking at is uh, device plane functions, industry types, uh, vertical and horizontal markets. What are the different sectors that we can apply? Uh, is it in banking? Is it in uh, healthcare? Is it in uh, uh, what was it called? Is it in sports? Uh, is it in um, uh, what was it called? For instance, some of your smartwatches that you can control over the internet, those things can be uh, employed in sports. Or is it in uh, energy, your solar grid that are smart? These are different ways that uh, that Internet of Things can apply. So we're going to look at that, and we're going to do some labs that have to do with all of these stuff. Then in, in uh, module six, the last module, we're going to be looking at um, Hello, in the very last model, in the very last model, we're going to be looking at the last, uh, the creating, how do you create an IoT solution? So uh, some of the things we're going to be looking at is, um, just a moment, it's um, some labs. IFTTT and Google account. So IFTTT is the if this, then that. That if this happens, what should happen? Or for instance, if, I, if the temperature my sensor is picking up is 30 degrees, what should I do, right? Like in the previous lab, you see, you see saw something like earthquake, if it's applied to earthquake. If I measure a, uh, 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 an earthquake that have a measure of let's say six point something, what should I do? What kind of alert should I throw? Then you learn things like how do you draw a flow chart for your project, electric schematic for your project, typically developing uh, a solution. And of course, business model canvas. Uh, business model canvas is always used by business analysts or entrepreneurs to know how the different factors that contribute to their success in business can be achieved. Things like where they're going to get their suppliers from, who are their critical stakeholders, how do they do marketing? How do they, what is going to be their cost for delivering their services? Uh, who are going to be their partners? Who are going to be their suppliers? All of those things, you're going to look at it if you need to create an IoT solution. Okay, okay, that's all for the introduction to the IoT course. So in subsequent models, we'll start looking at the very first module and how we can make sure that we achieve all of these core skills. Then how digital, current digital transformation is creating unprecedented economic opportunity. How do you, how can IoT bridge the gap between uh, OPEX, operational expense, and information technology system? That is a, um, uh, or rather, how, how do you make sure that you reduce your OPEX um, and make sure that you don't spend so much in your uh, capital expense? You are not having so many people at your operational expense and your capital is greatly reduced. Okay, I think that's all. So see you in the next uh, module.